Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. I've got 28 Bolo items coming your way, items that I sold for $35 or less, and I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these items I've picked up at thrift sales, thrift sales, <laughs> thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace, and YouTube auctions. All right, let's get started. Oh my goodness. Thrift sales. I guess there could be a thrift sale. Um, all right. The first item I sold is this Disney store wind chimes snow white adorable um actually a subscriber uh of my channel picked this up it is chosen goods reseller she has a youtube channel with some reseller content so definitely go check her out but she um really likes snow white and this little piece is adorable so uh she picked this up for 22 dollars, and i did give her free shipping on that so uh, $22 free shipping. So super, super cute. And it kind of, uh, catches the light behind it and is kind of see-through it's glass. It's really, really cool. And I want to say, I don't know if it's vintage vintage, but it is definitely, um, retired, definitely not available anymore. So very cool item. And that came from a garage sale and cost of goods was probably around a dollar. All right, the next item are these vintage hand crocheted starched ornaments. And these are pretty cool. Uh, they're handmade and people use them as like decorations for like baby showers and different things like that. But I took a best offer of $20 on these. The buyer was all in for $29.08 and I picked those up at a garage sale for like a buck. The next item sold pretty quickly. This came from a garage sale. It is a Shackman Japan handmade bisque mannequin doll jointed with a wood body. It's definitely very interesting. Um, actually surprised that mine sold as quickly as it did because there were quite a few others listed. Um, I feel like I did okay with my price. I was competitive, uh, but somebody did offer me 15. So I went ahead and took that. Uh, my cost of goods was $2 and 50 cents. They had $5 on it, but it was like, come back on Saturday. I think it was, and everything's half off. So I got it for $2 and 50 cents. Uh, buyer paid the shipping on that. So they were all in for 23 55. The next item came out of a dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. Um, this one, Again, I had no idea what this thing was. It's Tayo Pistol Grip Oil Glass Cutter. Um, yeah, just an odd off the wall item. Again, I learned so much from the Dibble Boxes because there is always random miscellaneous stuff that she has picked up in storage units and buyouts. And she'll just throw a hodgepodge of things in a box and it's called a Dibble Box. I call it a great box for resellers to buy. Um, so look for Donna's dibble box. I uh, sold this for $15 and the buyer was all in for $24.21. And I do have Donatella, Bottolino and auctions for you linked down in the description of the video if you want to check out their uh, YouTube auctions and selling events. All right, this plush bear came from a Goodwill store. I paid a buck for it. And I sold it for $29.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The only thing that was wrong is that the battery compartment had this little break in it. So um, it was still fine. It still sold for decent money. It has this little flap that covers it. So not a big deal. It worked great. It was adorable and had the original tags. The next item is this Fisher Price Boat. Definitely be on the lookout for this. It sold super fast for $25. The buyer was all in for $32.35. It's from 1972. And I believe it goes on the top of a camper. So it's kind of like a replacement boat. But um, my cost of goods was approximately 2 or $3 for that. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of Little People Fisher Price from a uh, garage sale and... I lotted it all up. It was the same garage sale where I got the wood doll. So I lotted everything up and it was half off. 
And actually, I just um, started to cross post some of my items over to Facebook Marketplace. And I'm using List Perfectly to do it. So I'm starting on eBay and then I'm cross posting my items to Facebook Marketplace. Um, I did a video on it. And the items that I picked to transfer over were actually Fisher Price Little People, um, the vintage wood people. And I've already made two sales from that video. So check out that video if you want to learn how to cross post. I have other videos that show you how to use List Perfectly to cross post from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. That's what I always do. I'm kind of I'm going to try Facebook Marketplace, especially because I sold those two items so quickly. I like that. Um, but if you'd like to check out List Perfectly, there is a link down in the description of the video. You can use referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month. And um, it's fantastic. It's going to get your things listed quickly. And you're going to see results from that because there's different buyers on different platforms. Um, I'll have an item that'll be sitting and sitting and sitting on eBay. I will put it on a different platform and it will sell. Um, so there is definitely something to uh, different buyers being on different platforms. So I highly recommend cross posting. I love it. And I like selling on multiple platforms. I will say that eBay is by far, far my best platform. Um, so if you're not on eBay, definitely consider that. Okay, so this lab puzzle is like shaped like a dog. It's adorable. And I picked this up at a thrift store for 50 cents. I just figured somebody would buy it because it's a dog. And somebody that has a lab probably would think this is pretty cool. And this sold for $10.94. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Marks Guns of Navarone. I think that's how you say it. It's a playset replacement rifle rack. And you can learn more about this on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel at the Thrift Battle. I shared about this item and the other items that I picked up at the same time. So definitely go check that out. I sold this for $18.25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Paw Patrol Rescue Pup Arctic ter Terrain Vehicle. And I sold this for $21 best offer. And I picked this up at a thrift store for two bucks and the buyer with tax and shipping was all in for $29 and 55 cents. This is a harder to find vehicle. I've never seen this one before. So when I saw it, um, I thought that it would be a quicker flip because of the fact that I've never seen it. The next item that sold is this vintage Collegeville costume. And there's a whole story behind this. And if you want to hear that story, you can go over to my uh, sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. It's a what sold video. And I believe I put costume in the title and you can check out the story behind this. Um, the person messaged me on eBay and it's just a really cool story. So I ended up selling that for 1605. The buyer was all in for 2308. All right. These Cracker Jacks boxes. Um, this is like the little toy or whatever that came inside of it. Uh, I don't know why I picked these up, but I did. And they ended up selling pretty quickly. It's kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I just kind of went with it. I know some vintage Cracker Jack stuff can do well. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to grab these boxes. It was at an estate sale. I had not much in it. I don't know how much. I kind of bagged some stuff up and got a deal. So probably less than a dollar. But it sold pretty quickly for $10.95. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Splash Bombs balls. Um, they're by Prime Time Toys. I really don't know what they are. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of them. I can't remember where I got them or why I picked them up because it's not something that I would normally pick up. I don't think they came in a mystery box. I don't know, you guys. I cannot remember where the Splash Balls came from. But I do have more listed. Um, They've been kind of long tail, but I did make decent money on them. If I could remember what I paid for them. I know I didn't pay much. Let's put that way. Um, I sold these for $19 and what did these come from? The I got it free garage sale. Hmm. They may have, 
I'd have to go back and watch that video. I cannot remember where these came from. I just feel like it's not an item I would have bought, if that makes sense. Okay, so these sold for $19 and the buyer was all in for $28.89. And I don't know if they like fill up with water and when you throw them at people, they like splash. I don't know what they do, but um, I do have more listed. I should get one and get it wet and see what it does. All right, the next item is this Jingle Bell Rock musical animated light up Christmas book. It did have some issues. This was in one of my thrift videos. I still bought it because it's animated and super cool, but this needs glued back to the book. Um, I went ahead and took a best offer. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. This sold for my sale price of $26.25. The buyer was all in for $35.30, and I got that at a thrift store for $4. The next item that sold is this vintage Navarone playset top floor. Guys, this is the top floor. It does have some discolorations. I did disclose that. And it sold for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $20.53 for that. Here's the ramp from the same playset. Again, it's got some discoloring. Um, sold it for $14.99 on auction not very big, just a replacement piece. And the buyer paid shipping. So this one is more from that play set and it sold for $19.99. And this one is a replacement door that sold for $19.99. So all in for both those items, it was 33. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. This was a separate sale. This one was $19.99 plus shipping is what this sold for. This one is the replacement door and this right here, this uh, turret. So these $13.50 on that and $19.99 on that. So the buyer was all in for the two items, $33.49 with tax and shipping, $40.58. Blaze and the Monster Machine Bumper Man Truck. He's a harder to find truck. I sold him for $31.50. The buyer was all in for $39.14 for this little truck, you guys. One little truck. So definitely be on the lookout for him. He is a nice little bolo item. And he came out of a mystery box. The next item that sold is this vintage Pin Pressions 3D pen nail board. This also came out of a free box. I sold this within probably 10 hours of listing. It was somebody local and they asked if um, they could come pick it up. And I don't normally do that, but they were like literally like probably two miles from me. So I just went ahead and dropped it off on their porch and I had to go into town anyway. So it was just easy to drop off. I sold this for $27.75 and the buyer paid tax. There was no shipping because um, I dropped it off. I did local pickup. Uh, this mixed lot of 50 wood track uh, trains. Uh, it's the track in these trains right here. Uh, I got this at the bins, and I will tell you that that track does add up. So probably had, I don't know, five or six bucks in that with the track. And it sold for, oh, hmm, I think $37.49. But the buyer was all in for $40.60. The next item are these vintage Hallmark Christmas cards with children, nativity scene, paper dolls. So kind of like an ephemera type deal. It's paper, Christmas card, cute, cute, cute. Uh, somebody's probably going to craft with that. It sold for $18.74. The buyer was all in for $25.75. I got it at a garage sale for around $0.50. Cents. The next item is this bobblehead dog. It's a flocked little lab. And I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and sold it for $17.25. The buyer paid shipping and tax was all in for $23.70. The next item I sold are these cast iron owls and they're like home decor. I don't know if they're like cooking molds or what exactly they are, but um, I picked those up at a garage sale for two bucks and I sold them for a best offer of 25 plus shipping. The next item is this Fortnite Gold Midas uh, action figure thing. And 
I looked this up at the sale. Comps looked really good. Sell through rate was decent, but there were quite a few listed. So I was competitive with my listing price and it sold for $26.25 super fast and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1983 Kurt Adler Christmas Carol ornament mini book. Um, I recently did a video on this and I said, this is an item to definitely be on the lookout for. These items sell quickly and for decent money. Um, I sold this for $20. The buyer was all in for $20, uh, $24. So definitely a bolo item. The next item is this Bratz Rock and Angels microphone. I honestly thought this was going to sell a lot quicker. Um, it was tested and it did work. It sold for $22.49. The buyer was all in for $29.40. A swim skirt. I don't get excited about clothes. I mean, all sales are good sales, but um, I shouldn't have said that. I do get excited about every sale, but. I was hoping it was going to be something cool that I could share with you guys. And it's not, it's just close. All right. The next item is this vintage Western Germany 10, like something cool like this. I could have been like, Oh, I sold this vintage Western Germany 10. Um, instead of, Oh, I sold a swim skirt. I sold this for $20 and the buyer was all in for $31 and 74 cents. This came from a garage sale, super pretty colors, neat item. Um, I just used the tape measure to show the measurements and yeah, the bottom of the box, the writing, and just take lots of pictures, guys. Uh, pictures are worth a thousand words. Is that what they say? All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, that concludes my 28 bread and butter bolo items to be on the lookout for when you are outsourcing. That was ridiculous. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.